This is Bill Hauser, and in this video, I'm gonna give you three huge updates, okay? One regarding the simplified forgiveness link, okay, on the SBA website. Next is gonna be about the EIDL application and whether you qualify literally step-by-step, step. and then also a huge PPP2 update it's opening up to all of the major banks and the banks have released when they're going to open their portals. So I'm going to bring you through all of this in this video. Make sure that you click the subscribe button because as soon as some of these links get updated, I'm going to try my best to release videos on that. Okay. And then right below that subscribe button, you're going to open up the description of this video. And again, I've given you all of the best links. I literally found this link on the SBA website that explains everything. And it's in the description of the video. Also comment, let me know what you want me to make additional videos on. Okay, let's dive right in. Simplified forgiveness. I have some notes over here I'm looking into. Okay, so simplified forgiveness. Um, let's see. They are a little bit delayed on the simplified forgiveness process. Um, however, it's supposed to be formally updated on the SBA's website by January 20th with the final uh, you know, simplified forgiveness link. Now, there is a specific page that I want you to go to right now on the SBA website. It's also in the description of the video. It's sba.gov slash PPP. And on that page, you will see explanations of literally everything, okay? First draw PPP loans for those of you who have not, didn't get one in the first round. Second draw PPP loans, how, how to know if you're eligible. What are the differences in loan forgiveness terms, which is really not much at all. Uh, for first draw versus second draw PPP loans. And then they have another link, PPP loan forgiveness, okay? And when you click on the loan forgiveness link, you will see the terms literally laid out for first draw PPP, second draw PPP. And then they have a link on how and when to apply for PPP forgiveness, okay? So all of this is on that link, sba.gov slash PPP click on the respective link to go into either forgiveness, PPP2 or PPP1. Um, and you will see exactly what they tell you to prepare your documentation, con when to contact your lender, okay? And January 20th, again, is the deadline for them to update this. But this link, you wanna be refreshing this link and check that on January 20th to get that final one page application link uh, for forgiveness. All right, let's go to number two. Okay, and by the way, let, you know, let's transition right now to the EIDL section of this, okay? Because EIDL, the news there is that EIDL um, is $1,000 per employee. They're giving away the EIDL grant, $1,000 per employee. If you have no employees, you can still get $1,000 by designating your, yourself as an employee. So also in the description of the video, I have a link to the specific page on the SBA's website that breaks down everything about the EIDL program. Now, on this page, make sure you check this very quickly because you got to apply for EIDL. It's supposed to open today. Um, it seems that it's still delayed though, but you want to refresh this page. I'll let you know. Again, subscribe and, and when they launch it, I'll try my best to put out a video on it. Okay. The application is coming today. It was actually supposed to come yesterday um, and it didn't. So they're a little delayed on it. And I also have a link in the description of the video. There's two qualifiers for EIDL. Number one is, are you in a low income area? There's a literal link in the video description that, that you can go and plug in your address and see if your business is located in a low income area. The second qualifier is you have to have had a 30% revenue drop over an eight week period from after March 2nd, 2020 compared to a comparable period in January, the time window of January 1st, 2019 through Jan March 1st, 2020. Okay. So it's about a 15 month window that you can compare. Okay. To a window within uh, any part of 2020 after March 2nd, 2020. And if you had a 30% revenue drop over a eight week period, you qualify for the EIDL grant, which is hundred percent forgivable. And today is supposed to be the day when that opened. But if you check the link in the, in the video, you'll see when that updates on the SBA's website. Okay. Uh, the third thing I'm going to go through is PPP2. Okay. Major banks are opening their portals now. This is huge. Okay. This, they're opening their portals. Major banks like TD Bank, for example. Uh, I'm on TD Bank's website actually right now. And it says that it's going to open 
halfway through the day, starting midday, January 19th, 2020. Okay. This is the day before inauguration day, which is absolutely insane. Um, you know, just, just the timing of this stuff. Um, but they're supposed to be opening up PPP2 applications for major banks on January 19th. So you want to be checking your bank to make sure you get in. Again, qualifiers for that is primarily the 25% revenue drop, obviously under 300 employees, et cetera. Um, but your bank's portal will open uh, most likely January 19th. I know a lot of the major banks I checked are doing that, okay? So again, in summary, uh, you need to check, do you qualify for the EIDL? So look if you're in a low income area in the link in the, in the video. Uh, and then also check that 30% drop over an eight week time period, like I said, for EIDL. Second, PPP2, your major bank portal, which is 70% of the public applied through a major bank portal. So uh, chances are uh, you're probably going to be applying for your second round of PPP if you qualify uh, through a major bank portal. So check your bank's portal. It's going to be opening up very shortly. Um, and then last but not least is PPP loan forgiveness. January 20th is the day, okay, where uh, they are going to have a link on the SBA's website that breaks all of this down. Uh, my name is Bill Hauser, CEO of the SMB team. I hope you found this video valuable, trying to give you real-time fast updates so you can stay ahead of the trends, be a first mover on all of this stuff. Forgiveness, EIDL, PPP2, et cetera, so that you can stay in the game and not get left in the dust with all these crazy changes. I hope you're ready for inauguration day. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff going on. Stay focused on your business, please. Stay focused. Don't let all the distractions take you away. Stay focused. Reinvest this money, okay? Grow your business. Scale your business, okay? Use this to propel you to the next level. Do not use this to put your tail between your legs and flatline, okay? Command growth, stay great, and I will see you in the next video. And again, subscribe if you haven't already so you can get real-time updates when I release new stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.